Diablo 4 Beta is finally here, but it does however come with some issues, but that's expected when it comes to a beta game. So in this video we will be taking a look at what you can do to fix some of those connection issues that you are currently experiencing when trying to play Diablo 4 online. If you are watching this game and the game is no longer in beta, then the methods that I'll show in this video will still work for the full released game. So there are a couple of things that we can do and the first thing that you want to do is just simply make sure that Windows is up to date. And you can do this easily by right clicking on the start menu, going to settings, going to update and security, and you then need to click on the check for updates button. And if you do have a feature update available, then download and install that as well. Once you've updated Windows, we now want to go down to the bottom right hand corner of our screen to the system tray. And you then need to right click on your network adapter. You now need to click on open network and internet settings. And you're then going to want to click on change adapter options. So you can see here your network adapter. You want to right click on your adapter and you then need to click on disable. So this is now going to disable the internet connection on your computer. Once it's disabled, now right click on it and then go enable. So as you can see, my network adapter has now reconnected to the internet. So once it's done that, Go ahead and launch Diablo 4 again and see if that resolved the connection issues that you're having, whether it be not being able to connect to the servers or you're lagging within game or the game just keeps simply disconnecting. If that didn't help, then the next thing that you're going to want to do is remain on this screen and you now need to click on Diagnose this connection, keeping the connection or network adapter selected. So as you can see, we now have Windows Network Diagnostics and it couldn't actually identify a problem on my computer. And that's correct. At the moment or during this video, I don't actually have any network issues. I'm connected to the internet, the game's working fine on my machine, so that is correct. If it did, however, pop up with a solution for you to do, then follow the steps in resolving that network problem. If it didn't, then the next thing that you're going to want to do is click on the link that's in the description below because we need to check to make sure that the Diablo 4 services are currently running correctly. So once you've clicked on the link, you will end up on a page that looks like this. And actually for this video, this is a perfect example. So Diablo 4 is currently having issues with the authentication servers. So this could result in a failed or a slow login attempt. And if I get this video up in time, that might even be the reason why you're currently on this video. So it does actually say you will still be able to sign in because it's a slow logon attempt. So just keep trying to sign in if you're getting a failed or an error message. Just be patient. The game's only just come out and there's a lot of players currently trying to connect and their servers are probably getting absolutely hammered. So the next thing that you want to do is close this all down and we're then going to want to go down to the bottom left hand corner of our screen and open up the start menu and type in CMD. You now need to run command prompt as an administrator and you then need to type in ipconfig space forward slash and then flush DNS. Now press enter on your keyboard and this is going to flush the DNS. Once that's finished, Try launching Diablo again and see if you can connect online and enjoy the online multiplayer. You can now close down command prompt and if that didn't help resolve the connection issues you're having at the moment, the next thing I would say is if you're using a wireless connection is to use a wired connection. A wired connection is a lot faster, more stable, which will then obviously help resolve some of those connectivity problems. So if you are using a wireless connection but able to use a wired connection, go ahead and try and use that now. And if you're using some network adapters or anything like that, don't use them, just plug your computer directly into the ISP router. So your main router that your internet connection comes from. Once you've done that and if that didn't help, then the next thing you could also try is restarting your router. Just make sure that when you do this, no one else is currently using the internet because it's obviously going to kick them off the internet as well. So they're gonna to have to wait five to 10 minutes depending on how long it takes for your ISP router to restart. If none of that helped, 
Then the next thing you need to do is right click on the network adapter and go open network and internet settings. You then need to click on change adapter options again and we now need to right click on the network adapter and go to properties. You now need to select internet protocol version 4 and go properties and you're then going to want to click on use the following DNS server address. So as you can see I've already got mine filled in but I'm just going to reset that and show you now. So we need to do 1, 1, 1 and 1. This is going to use the Cloudflare DNS service. This can help improve lag and connection issues and stuff like that within the game. So once you've done that click on OK and then close. I will pop a link in the description below so you can read a bit more about the Cloudflare DNS because I don't want to bore you in this video as we're currently going through methods on how to fix the connection issues. So now launch the game, see if that helped. If that didn't, then obviously you can decide if you want to carry on using that DNS or not. So one of the other main things that really can cause connection problems when trying to play a game like Diablo is security software. So if you have a third party security program installed, then put it into either a game mode or a passive mode if it does have the option. If it doesn't, then try disabling it for a temporary period of time and then launching the game and see if that helps. Just keep in mind though, while it's disabled, you might not be protected from security threats. So just be very careful and remember to re-enable your security software. If the game did work while the security was disabled, then you will need to find out how to add the game to the exception list on your security software. If you're using a VPN service, then try disabling it and then launching Diablo again. The VPN service could easily be causing the connection issues that you're currently experiencing. If you're not using a VPN service, but you do have one available, then you could always try using that and then try and Diablo to see if it helps resolve some of those connection issues. So I'm now kind of approaching the end of this video, but the one last thing that you could try doing is updating your network adapter. So if you're not sure what network adapter you have in your computer, then you can right click on the start menu icon and go device manager and then expand network adapters and then right click on your network adapter and go properties. So you can actually see there anyway, I've got a Realtek PCIe GBE family controller network adapter. So I'd need to go to the Realtek website and download the latest driver for my adapter. And of course, once you've updated the driver, then restart your computer and then try the game again. So I will pop a link in the description below to a guide that we have done that I will add more methods to if I can think of any that I wasn't able to add to this video. So I hope this video did help you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like it, then give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see more computer sluggish videos, then click the subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.